Hey everyone, Lance here. I just wanted to make a quick video as my RX 480 card has actually failed in my external GPU. So I was given a refund for the card from the retailer and I decided to stay AMD as there are a lot of problems with NVIDIA cards being used with Mac eGPUs. And also since Apple's supported card is an RX 480, I also decided to go with that. I wanted to get a Sapphire Pulse RX 580 as that is the one that Apple Dev Kit uses but I couldn't find one here in New Zealand so I went with something else and since there isn't a reference design RX 580 I simply went with the cheapest option I could find and that was the Gigabyte card. So of course the, I've got the 8 Gigabyte Gigabyte RX 580 so we can take a look here. The packaging is actually reasonably small compared to most graphics cards and all we really get inside is that black and orange card. It is a nice looking card and it does have a backplate which is a feature I like. This isn't going to be a full review of the RX 580 but there are a few things that I really like about the card. I actually quite like Gigabyte's cooler design here with those two fans and that little orange section on the front and the LEDs on top up here are pretty cool. However because I am using it in a Mac external GPU I can't set the colours of the LEDs and they'll just cycle naturally on their default profile. I also like that when not under load, the fans on the card will completely stop, keeping sound down to what people would normally expect from a typical Mac experience, which is nice if you were to keep the eGPU connected to your Mac at all times. Obviously the fans will turn off doing normal tasks and you'll have a silent Mac which people are used to and a silent graphics card which is pretty cool and like I said having a backplate is pretty cool on a reasonably low end card or mid to low end card as well. Anyway I wanted to compare the numbers of the RX 580 that I've just got here with the older RX 480 so I've borrowed a friend's Sapphire RX 480 reference card here and I'm going to rerun all the tests I've done in the past in previous videos obviously because I've done updates and things on the Mac so all of this testing in this video will be done on the Mac OS 10.13.1 public release. The RX 480 has a base clock of 1120MHz and a boost clock of 1266MHz. Now this particular RX 580 that I've got has a 1340MHz gaming mode and a 1355MHz OC mode. This is a huge jump, especially given that these have the exact same GPU core Plus, the RX cards are known for not being able to overclock very well. But I'll link the full specs of the two in the description for you guys to take a look at if you want to have a look at more than just the core clocks. And the other noteworthy difference is the RX 580 has an 8 pin PCI Express power connector, while the RX 480 has a 6 pin power connector. I mentioned earlier that I wanted the Sapphire Pulse card and really the main reason I wanted that is because that is the card that Apple directly supports in their developer kit which means it's the only card that will display correctly in about this Mac and say RX 580 8GB. So with this 580 it still shows the same as my old RX 480 did and that will be R9 XXX 8GB. My MacBook Pro that I'll be doing the testing on is a 2017 15 inch MacBook Pro with the Radeon Pro 564GB discrete card. I'll include the numbers for those in my results as well. And I'll be comparing Thunderbolt 2 on my Akitio Thunder 2 over here. And I'll be comparing Thunderbolt 3 on my new Mantis Venus eGPU enclosure. So you'll get a sneak peek of my new enclosure which I'll be making a full video on soon too. I'll also put my full Mac specs in the description so you guys can take a nosy at that as well. But anyway, let's get to the numbers.
So just like the jump from Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3, the jump from an RX 480 to RX 580 is pretty small. So if you've already got an RX 580, I would say that the upgrade isn't worth it at this stage. But if you're like me and your RX 480 has failed and they're no longer available, then an RX 580 might be the card for you. I feel like this video is getting a little bit confusing, RX 480, RX 580. But anyway, one other thing I wanted to point out is that the blower style cooler of the 480 is a lot quieter under load than the airflow style cooler of that Gigabyte card. Under full load, that Gigabyte card is really loud. And I was pretty surprised by that. But it's only really ever under full load when I'm doing testing and benchmarks or when I'm rendering my videos. Other than that, it's dead silent or the fans aren't running at all. But anyway guys, that's all I really wanted to cover in this video. I do thank you all a lot for watching. Stay tuned for my full Mantis Venus video. That should hopefully be coming soon. Feel free to like, subscribe and check me out on Twitter and Instagram. I'll put links in the description down below. But hey, I'll see you in the next one.